Hey everyone, it's Danny. Today we're gonna be making buffalo chicken and shrimp philly. This was a new recipe for me, so there won't be any exact directions in the description box, but I will list all of the ingredients that I used. So first I'm gonna start by sauteing my chicken in my cast iron skillet. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of slap your mama and some pepper. You don't wanna go too overboard with the seasonings because we are going to toss the chicken and our shrimp in buffalo sauce later on. So for now, I'm gonna saute the chicken and the vegetables all at once. For the vegetables, we're gonna have mushrooms, onions, and bell pepper. Make sure your onions are sliced into half moon shapes and make sure your bell peppers are cut into julienne strips. And don't forget to slice your mushrooms. So when I sauteed my vegetables, I don't remember the exact time that I kept them in the skillet, but I sort of just went by color. I didn't want my bell peppers to get too dark. I wanted them to still keep their vibrant green color. So I didn't keep them on there too long. And my onions, I just wanted them to be caramelized and same goes for my mushrooms. Next, this is the step where we saute our shrimp. So I'm going to melt some butter and add some garlic and cook that until it's fragrant. And then I'm gonna place my shrimp over my garlic right in the middle of the pan. I also saute my shrimp for a minute and a half on each side. So everything that's going on our Philly has been thoroughly cooked. And now we can get our hoagie buns and our provolone cheese and put that in the oven so that our cheese can melt and that our buns can be toasted. Unfortunately, I didn't press record when I was tossing the shrimp and chicken and buffalo sauce, but that's the step that you're not supposed to skip because that's gonna defeat the whole purpose of the recipe. But yeah, get your choice of wing sauce. And right now I'm just going to put all of our ingredients that we cooked earlier in the hoagie buns. And I also added some mayonnaise and I put a whole lot because I like mayonnaise.
this was my final product and it tasted just as amazing as it looks. You guys go try this out and then comment below on how well it tasted. And thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you later.